Hi guys, Mangitu to Adam. And uh, today we're on a trip to Tropic Mall doing some business. But I just wanted to talk about, you know, the cost of living in the Gambia. So, you know, living in the Gambia is an experience that I wouldn't trade for anything. It's been a journey, it's been amazing. Coming here, planning the whole process and actually getting here. And our kids love it. You know, my wife, she's having a great time. And one of the amazing things about living here is the cost of living, right? So uh, comparatively, the Gambia, as far as countries in Africa, is one of the least expensive countries to live in. So, you know, when you think about that, that goes into, you know, building a house, having a business, all these other processes that you might go through. And so um, one of the things that we, we do here often, you see us walking, you know, we walk often, we uh, take public transport. We don't have a car at the moment, but here to, pay, to take public transport is only between, and this is transferring to American dollars, 15 to 30 cents. So that's not a lot at all. So you can really save a lot of money taking a public transport. Of course, you gotta get one of the vehicles and um, you know, uh, different times, there's a different amount of vehicles available for you to get on. But again, you save so much money. Well, I'm sorry, somebody's cooking some good food. But, you know, the cost of living here is amazing. Besides that, you know, food costs, right? You might get oranges or apples, and they're 25 cents, 40 cents comparatively. So it's really a great, great opportunity coming here right now because your dollar, your dollar really stretches here right now. I mean, I don't know, five years from now, who knows? 10 years from now, who knows? But me and my wife took our first trip to the Gambia in February of last year. And when we came then, it was about $55, um, 55 Delossi to $1 exchange rate. Now it's 67 to um, one American dollar. So you're able to do a lot, a whole lot with a little. And like they always tell you, right? When you come to Africa, you don't come here looking for a job at nine to five, you come here to start a business. So if you have a business where you're still getting paid in um, dollars, euros, pounds, whatever the case may be, your funds transfer that much more. I, I put it to you this way, you know, a thousand Delasi here is a little bit less than um, $20. So if you think about that, right, you go to the market for our family, it's me, my wife, and our two kids here, and we'll spend 200, maybe 250 Delasi for a full meal that'll last us all day. So when you think about that, that's, mm, let's see, a little bit under $20 for a thousand Delasi. So that's like $7, $8, something like that. Maybe a little bit less. If we can get a whole meal for our family. We're able to feed them all. We have food all the way to the nighttime. And it really, it really is a benefit, you know, coming here and being able to spend that little, but have it stretched that far. And of course, if you know how to cook, that's better because you end up spending less money no matter where you are in the world. If you cook your own food, you spend less money but that's just a big big opportunity also bills right here everything is in bills 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 of course you have your electric bill uh depending on where you get your water from you have a water bill um you have your rent and if you have a car that's a different different uh cost and different pricing for that but um when it comes to electricity we probably only spend like i want to say nine dollars to ten dollars on our electricity um for maybe like a week and a half, two weeks. So if you stretch that out to a month period, we probably only spend about $40, $30, dollars $40 on our electricity a month. That's how much we spend. So, so you know, and that's very good. And that's if you don't have anything plugged up. My wife just made a good point. We took a soap. We are excited to announce biggest business group consultations, guys. Now, if you wanna come to the Gambia, the Smiling Coast, and you wanna come safely you want to come and have a great experience and also economically too um consult with us 
contact us at VegasBusinessGroup at gmail.com. We'll let you know, you know, if you need advice on moving to the Gambia, if you need advice on just taking a trip to the Gambia, if you need advice on how we made our first trip and how we was able to do what we're doing, you know, please consult with us. Our consultations are very low rate, you know. Um, make sure you add also why you want to come to the Gambia or what exactly you want to get out of the consultation because that'll also help us narrow it down for you. So please guys, you know, anybody that needs that advice, we are so excited to announce our biggest business group consultations. Took a solar generator here. So that's another word of advice. If you're coming, try to bring your own generators, try to bring your own supplies and your own equipment. So it really cuts the cost of everything in the long run. Also having a borehole, right? Because now don't drink the water. That's a lesson that I learned uh, first week. Don't drink the water from the borehole because that comes with a number of different problems. You know, here they use soakaways for the sewage. So if you're um, if you're drinking the water, sometimes the sewage might leak into the groundwater and you drink that and the bacteria from that might get you sick. So you gotta be very careful of where you're getting your water from, you know, how much water you're drinking. But that's if you have a borehole, right? But some boreholes have filters and the boreholes that have filters, those are really good. You don't have to worry about anything. And that's really the way that you want to go when it comes to drinking your water. Get it from a filtered source or just get bottled water because that'll help you a lot. But anyway, if you have a borehole, your electric bill, your water bill is the same. So that that's really low on cost as well. Um, also rent. Where we stay, we only pay 87 American dollars for rent. And the rent just dropped, believe it or not. So right now, we only pay $74. Salam alaikum. But yeah, we only pay 74 American dollars right now for our rent, which is roughly 5,000 Delasi. So the money really transfers in a big way. And of course, if you own your own home, then you're not paying any rent, right? You buy your land, you do all of that stuff like that. You're not buying any rent. So, you know, you got to think about these things, consider these things when you move um, out of the States, out of Europe, out of Canada, wherever you're coming from and consider that competitive price point, make a real consideration on where you wanna to move to. Because at the end, everything is ran by money, right? So you wanna make sure that you're getting the most bang for your buck, as they say. And for us, the Gambia is the bang. The Gambia is now. Like Watermaya in some of his videos, he says, Africa isn't the future, Africa is now, family. So our vote is with the Gambia, and we do have minds to go to other other countries and go to other places and experience, you know, what they have culturally there, uh, locally, the environment, everything like that. We love the Gambia. The weather is similar to Florida, you know, has beaches, has all types of things. I mean, everything anywhere else has. The Gambia has it. Africa has it in general. I'm ducking out of this tree. My hair might get caught up there, but no, it's beautiful. There's animals everywhere. Cows, chickens, donkeys. You see a pig sometimes occasionally. This is a Muslim country, so it's not really a lot of pigs. But you know, there's food everywhere. So when it comes to finding what you want to eat, that's not a problem. Now, when it comes to cost of living, it can get a little pricey if you're trying to eat food in a tourist area. The tourist areas are always a little bit more expensive. There you might find something that costs a little bit closer to the traditional cost. But generally, if you're you come here you definitely want to integrate into the community because you'll save a lot of money integrating into the community um, instead of going to the tourist areas getting food getting stuff in that area and you'll end up paying a lot more money so when it comes to the cost of living definitely where you live where you're getting your food from all of that plays an important role because at the end of the day you know you want to integrate the community you want to be you want to feel safe in the environment that you're in you can be in a tourist area as soon as you go outside of that to a neighborhood or actual village area now people don't know you they've never seen you before and it can become an issue so you definitely want to be careful of you know that be mindful of that come with an open mind with an open heart and make sure that you want to integrate into the community a lot of people don't we see a lot of people all the time come here and they live nowhere around the locals they don't want to speak to a local probably don't even have one local friend so like i say all the time it's not about what you know sometimes it's who you know a lot of the times so that's very very important especially if you want to save money here if you want to live here and really thrive and really be successful here so thank you family have a nice day
Nikiku cheki na zilani Sio kama nime kunywa pombe Nime ukoka kakini urembo wako mbama unani moja Mina pigwa na butwa Urembo wako wani maliza 